so that we can learn all about it and help promote you through TravelWisconsin.com, which is the Department of Tourism's website. And we have millions and millions of people who go to that website for their travel planning. I don't know how familiar you are with it, but I encourage you to mm -hmm. use it yourself. Nope. It's got a great and trip planner. Yes. <laughs> I just used yes. it. I just yes. used it for my Ashland trip. That's great. Yeah. That's a new feature that we launched it's um, in June. And then another feature that's coming in just a couple of weeks, um, we're going to introduce an iPhone app. Oh, good. And um, all the Beyond information, <laughs> the mobile application, well, it's, it's going to be terrific for the museum because everything that's in our database for Travel Wisconsin, those who are using their iPhones and saying, okay, what can I do when I'm in this area of the state, mm -hmm. and pull it up on their iPhone application, it'll be what is in the database Great. at Travel Wisconsin. So it was really nice marketing. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, it, these walls are the, the interpretive signage is evolving, you know, and coming along. And it, these walls hopefully won't be blank next year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, uh, that's your goal, huh? But uh, this is an unrestored Morris that was actually owned by the University of Wisconsin, and I, mean, I don't think they used it much. No, it's a it's a mirror. Oh my goodness! Oh, yes, you can see the bottom. Um, yeah. yeah, that came from the visitor center at uh, Namakaga, actually. They redid their displays. There's a lot of things in here that we sort of um, managed to put together. Yeah, so uh, these are the things that It's a small museum, for yes. sure. Uh, but the quality. But quality. It's yeah. a really, really great collection. Um, Joe and Jeff Dean, the folks that donated most of the books, were really diverse in what they uh, bought. You know, so it was sort of like a, you could do the whole spectrum of human design and evolution. Those are really. The bucket boats were always uh, really difficult to get, you know, it's, it's really kind of consuming. These aren't easy to build, but they were easy to build in factories, so it was, it was good canvas. I'm Secretary Kelly Trumbull with the Wisconsin Department of Tourism, and this is really impressive to be at the Wisconsin Canoe Heritage Museum. What a great addition to the Wisconsin travel and tourism product. And um, we really look forward to how we're going to market this. And um, it's been very exciting to hear the tremendous interest from around the world in the United States already in the museum. So compliments to everyone who had the vision to make this happen. And um, what a great way to inspire people to canoe in the great outdoors of the North Woods. So the, the 
armchair. Um, and they were often pulled, which is what um, the first mural on the wall depicts. Um, and that, that's falling as well. But the, the middle picture is pretty much the fly fishing on the wall. Yeah. Stan, in the stern of the canoe, push yourself forward. So it's actually it's like a really efficient way to go upstream. There's a lot of downstream falling out as the US is going to stay upstream sort of thing. So we can talk more about that. Yeah. Okay. magazines and um, television shows and so Sarah and Michelle will be working with you in our office on um